What is going on, everybody? We're back. This is the uh, second round of the playoffs. We had to unfortunately play the wild card game, which was a waste of time because it's only 500 coins because we lost that game earlier. And I don't know why I decided to, but this game, my playoffs, I decided to switch switch to the three four even Mike Scrape three. Um, even though I had been running, even though I had been running a less effective defense throughout this whole season, with me trying to figure out dime flat and big nickel and I kind of had some heat from it, but it wasn't consistent, and I didn't really know the setups. So this game was the first game I switched to, and it was kind of a mistake to just come out and do this. Um, I just really didn't know what to do, where the weak spots were, what to adjust. This first drive right here, I'm just in 3-4 bear. Just trying to, you know, like, fill them out, maybe stop the run. I have, like, a one or two blitzes I know out of there, but they're not consistent. I think if you just slide, they easily get picked up, or if you... uh block a running back they easily get picked up but we just get we just get eaten apart on that first drive i don't think we forced a third down the whole drive he just dotted his way the whole time so i'm like all right three four uh bear isn't the option against this kid that's for sure and then i think i decided to go uh mike strip the rest of the game so we come out on offense second we do get ball at halftime and this is why I'm about to get rid of Derek Carr. I think he did that maybe five times this game. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Is right there. Jordy goes up for the catch, comes down with it on second and ten. Um, I don't know why Derek had to throw it all up high like that, but he did. Second and twelve, we dump it off to Barnage, and he puts the ball on the ground. Now we are about to face going down 14. Oh, man. Just remember breaking tackles. Just remember me saying breaking tackles. Um... And watch what happens later in the game. Just remember breaking tackles. So he breaks two tackles right there from two of my best tacklers in one of my DBs, Gilmore, and then Kendricks. So we find ourselves down 14. I do get ball at half again. If I can just, I don't know why I'm back juke and I never back juke. If I can just score here, get a stop. Um, we're not looking too bad. It's right here we drop back and throw again. And Derek Carr sails it. I think I only end up showing two or three, but there was a good five or so. Right here we dump it off in the flats. Um... We just get a terrible animation. Deshaun Jackson ends up running back towards the ball. Third and nine, we go to split close. I dump it off in the flats. Marceau Reese makes a great move, gets us down the sideline. First and ten, we're approaching the two-minute warning. I just need to make sure I get in the end zone, and we find Barnage right there. We go with the possession cat. So we're only down 14-7. We're down one score. Definitely don't give up a touchdown here before halftime because that would just suck if I still went into halftime trailing by uh, two touchdowns. We're running a defense that I just practiced maybe 10 minutes before this game started. I mean, now I've got that shit down to a science. I know the weak spots. I know what to adjust in this formation, that formation. and Man, the fact that he threw that up, just remember that formation too. Two things to remember. That play, PA wheel out of trips and broken tackles is right there. Fourth down. Um, he was under pressure and threw it behind him. So we're in great shape right here. Um, we end up tying the game on this run right here, 14-14, and I get ball half. So we get another stop. I could go in the halftime tied or up after looking like it was about to get ugly so we're not looking too bad i decided to switch to three four even after that first drive because that bear was just i mean bear's not a bad play like not a bad base play to stop the run you know kind of contain passes but he was just eating us alive so i said screw that again he comes out in that uh pa wheel play that time he gets us i'm like all right good play i changed up some of the zones um and again he goes back to it again three four five times in a row right here Oh, Speck catches it right right in front of Roll. Um, he puts the kicker, Sue, in at QB for the sneak and ends up scoring just before halftime, which is exactly what we didn't want. So we have one minute in one timeout. I'm hoping to at least put three points on the board. That way, if I score a touchdown coming out of half, I'll have the lead. I dump it off to Jordy right there on a crossing route. We get a nice gain. I'm approaching under 50 seconds. I'll go ahead and burn my timeout just to you know, get shit together. I try to get out of bounds with Barnage right there, and I'm unable to. Right here, we got 20 or so seconds right here. I thought about trying to make a move like I really did. I was like, ooh, should I try to get to the sideline and get one more playoff? I'm like, I decided to say, screw it. We just get down right there. Um, we bought McManus for a reason to make these big boot plays. So I'll go ahead and kick the three. Um, it kind of set in now that this is the playoffs. Um, I need to get my shit together. We've got coins on the line, season vet badges on the line. I think at this point I was only down three season vet badges. So if, I was, if I'm able to win out this playoff string that's another season vet player i don't know if they if they're still even expensive but i know some of them still have like 50k plus price tags on them so definitely want one of those third and nine right here we find pyramid wide open i just oh man jordy gets in the way i shouldn't have spun when i did and 
it's whatever. We're still driving. We uh, find a nice corner out inside the 10, and then Marso Reese is in there. So we find ourselves with the lead. We were down 14-0. Defenses look pretty shitty. Again, this is my first time running the new blitz, and I really just know the setup, the base setup. Um, I don't know really, like, the adjustments to make. I'm just hoping it comes in and maybe flusters him. Um, second and 11, we stuffed the run right there. We're looking all right. Third and 11, I decided to go man coverage. He, he, he kept hitting me with that PA slot wheel play. He goes right back to it. And catches it with one hand and when he's getting bodied and pressed the whole time. And right now, he's in chew clock mode. We are at two and a half minutes, and he is chewing the clock. Second and two right here. Remember when I told you guys uh, broken tackles? Check this out. Third and two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Vernon Davis fullback runs over six players. Six of my best tacklers. He runs over Shazier, Fletcher Cox, Vaughn Miller, and one more, I forget at the very beginning. Just runs over a gang tackle of all of them. Then proceeds to fall forward on um, Kendricks and Aaron Donald. So I'm just totally flustered. I can't believe that happened. I feel like if I stopped him on that third and two, he would take his three. And um, I had this open, but my guy got bumped off his route at the last second. And I ended up forcing it up, and we end up losing the game. <sighs> we did all that hard work to come back, and... The fumble definitely killed us because it got us down 14-0. But even then, I was able to come back and take the lead 24-21. And he was just able to milk out the rest of the clock in two plays right there. That third down man play where he caught it with one hand on roll. And then this third and two. I immediately go back and look at it after the play, after the game's over. We we meet him in the backfield. Shazier, I thought it was going to be that chop, 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 and he falls back. Or he runs over Shazier, over Khalil Mack, over Vaughn, and over Fletcher Cox. So he stopped there, dead for no gain. We had third and two. That should have been fourth and two. Runs over all four, then proceeds to fall forward on Kendricks and Aaron Donald. And I'm just mine blown. Six bodies can't stop somebody. Oh, and it's a rough life. So that, and then the third and 11 right before the fourth quarter, I go man press because I knew what was coming. I was hoping Roll could just body him up, and he did. He did a great job. Got his hands up, like pulling arms down and everything, and he comes down with it one-handed, and oh, man. I appreciate it, guys. All the links are in the description. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always, deuces.